Okay, those of you who've had problems with your core chrome making pop noises, um, even high pitch noises while you're playing, especially the pianos. Uh, doing some research, I found a video on YouTube, but it was not quite completed. I needed to know exactly how many screws had to be taken off or what you had to take off to open it up to get to the internal micro SD card. But the instructions are found right here on chromeheaven.com on how to repair a corrupted internal SD card. So you can find the instructions here and it walks you through step by step. Except it also doesn't show you exactly how many screws or where to take the screws from to open up the case. So I will show you from a Korg Chrome 88 key. Um, I've already taken the screws out, but I'll show you what's left and what not to take out. Okay, this is the back of my 88 key Korg Chrome. Every screw is taken out except for this one metal bar that goes under the keys. And after you take all the, the screws out of the outside, there's two screws that are easy to miss, which is these two in the inside here. So down at the bottom, this area here. And there's actually arrows. If you look on the bottom of your core Chrome 88 key, there's an arrow pointing at both locations showing you where the screw is. And those are the last two screws that actually hold it from opening up. Once you get those two screws from the back, you can just lift up. You can actually see the board where the SD card is located, which is right here. I will not touch that. But right here, I already taken that SD card out, and it's this card here that's corrupt, which looks like this is a brand that I've never seen, so it could be a Chinese version of a card, but it's a brand I haven't seen. But if you, this is from the back where the LCD is located, so you actually have to flip the metal piece up that holds the card, flip it up facing you, and then you can pull the card right out. It's easy to do. And if you follow the instructions, they'll have you format another card, um, class 10, four gig or eight gig to replace with. Uh, you can get a better card. And there's a actual image file that you download. All these instructions are on Chrome Heaven. You download that image file and then write it to your blank memory card and then replace it and that should fix the problem with the noise. Um, about this time my memory card should be finished so I will get it and replace it. Once you finish writing the image file on the memory card it will say write successful. This is the adapter I have to pull the micro SD card out of it. And as you can see I have a Samsung micro SD card with an adapter. You're going to insert this card with the small end facing towards you. So I will lift this up. Once you get it into place, you can push the metal piece down to clamp it in. And you know it's in when it clicks together. It's in the right position. And the metal piece clicks in. And that's it. All you have to do is close the cover. And replace all your screws and you're ready to go and it's a good idea to something that I do sometimes I usually would draw it out but I put the screws down in the position that I took them out so it makes the shape of the keyboard so when I put them back in I know exactly where they go again this is how you fix a corrupted internal card in your core chrome 
if you're having noise issues. Uh, so don't sell your Chrome. It's an easy fix, just takes a little time.